What if your next cross-country flight doesn't use a drop of fuel? Hey there, frequent flyers. Got some bad news for you. As it turns out, air travel packs a nasty environmental punch. You see, depending on the aircraft and how far you're going, you could be generating around half a pound of greenhouse gases for every single mile. We're talking carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide. This is nasty stuff. Now, engineers are working on ways to improve aircraft efficiency, like the folks over at Solar Impulse 2. They have a really lofty goal. You see, they want to build a two-person solar-powered airplane to circumnavigate the globe by 2015. That's pretty crazy, but they've already built a proof-of-concept vehicle and done some tests to find out what it takes to make this dream come true. And first, it takes a really wide wingspan. We're talking 72 meters wide. That's wider than a Boeing 747-81, and this airplane's just for two people. Why does it need such wide wings? Well, partly for stability in flight, partly to generate lift, but mostly for the surface area for 17,000 solar panels that'll create the electricity that drive the four electric motors on board. You see, an individual solar panel only generates a small amount of electricity, and they're not that efficient. The best ones we can make today top out at around 40% efficiency, meaning you lose 60% of the energy hitting that panel. These solar panels aren't just generating electricity to drive the propellers on board the plane, they're also charging lithium batteries on board, which means the plane can actually fly at night. That's pretty important, and it also means the plane can can stay in the air perpetually. It never has to land to refuel because there's no fueling tank. This journey's gonna take a while. In fact, the team estimates it'll take five months with lots of legs along the way so that the plane can land and a maintenance crew can come out, do any necessary repairs, the flight crew can swap out if need be, and then it can take off again. Some legs of this journey will require the crew to stay in the air for up to five days and nights or maybe even longer. So what's it like being the pilot or co-pilot aboard this plane? Well, for one thing, Thing, you got yourself a really fancy chair. That chair can turn into a cot or a lavatory. Okay, so it's not flying first class, but when every inch counts and every ounce matters, you gotta make some trade-offs. Now, I know what you're thinking. It sounds like solar power is not gonna be the jet fuel of the future. And you're right, it's just not practical for commercial aircraft. But the work this team is doing is going to inform ways to create more efficient aircraft in the future. Plus, the work with the solar panels and battery technology are going to help lots of different industries. So even if you think it's silly for a team to try and make a solar-powered plane fly around the world, the end result is that we all stand to benefit. And I can't think of anything more forward-thinking than that. Now that leads me to a question for you guys this week. If you could make any technology in the world solar-powered, what would it be? Maybe it's a solar-powered submarine. That'd be really crazy. But let me know in the comments below. Explain why your idea is the best. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, share it with your friends, and then check these videos out over here. You're gonna love them.